Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about getting started with building your own power app built on Dataverse. And when you do that, you want to make some initial settings, or I recommend doing those initial settings. So I'm going to show you some settings here in the Power Apps home, and I'm also going to show you some settings, or one setting actually, in the Power Platform Admin Center. The first thing you want to do is go into the publishers list, which you can find here under solutions and find publishers there. And as you see, there's a bunch of uh, built in uh, publishers there, but I want to create my new one. So I'm just going to add the display name Calmstrom there and the name can be Calmstrom too. That works fine. And then I'm going to put a prefix there and I'm going to do KA not make that too short it can just let not be one letter it has to be two or more and that's going to be the prefix of every new object and since you in dataverse will see a lot of the built-in objects it's good to have your own prefix because then you know these are mine these are the ones i'm responsible for and these are all the other ones that microsoft or or some other developer of course has supplied so now i'm going to save that and now I have a new publisher and then I'm going to start with my solution and create that solution with this publisher or using that. So now I'm going to go into solutions and I'm going to create a new solution and I'm going to connect that to the publisher. And then all the objects that I create within that solution will have this prefix and will be accredited to the publisher. All right. So new solution. I'm going to call that a, a, a quotes database for example and I'm going to select the publisher here so there we go Kelmstrom it's fine and there's a bunch more options here but I will just create that for now so now that I've created the quotes solution I'm going to go into that quote solution and here I see everything that's contained in that and here I can start creating my new tables now so if I create them from here uh, create my new table there we go, table, and just do a quote. And as you see, it automatically fills in the display name singular and then the plural name quotes. And that's very helpful, of course. And the important thing that I want to show you in here now is that we get this KA uh, pre prefix in my new table. And that's going to be very useful when we see the, the bunch of tables that are going to be visible in other places in Power Apps. So this is good. I also want to show you this, the audit changes to its data. And there I get this warning that this table will not be audited until auditing is enabled for the organization. So that's what I'm going to show you next, how to do that. So let's save this first. And that takes a second. And let's meanwhile jump over to the Power Platform Admin Center. I found that through uh, admin first and then through all uh, admin centers. That's how I got here. But what I want to do now is go into my environments. And I just have one default environment here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the settings for this. And what I want to enable here is the auditing and logs. So let's go into audit settings and just start auditing. So that means that we'll have version history. If you're familiar with SharePoint, then I'm sure you are very familiar with the versioning there. So if you're coming from that environment and are used to getting versioning, then this is what you want to set on your tables. So I'm just going to save that now. And that's for my entire environment. So every table that I set up auditing for is going to have auditing. You also have these two that are rather interesting, the log access and the read logs. This is something that's a lot of custom work to do in SharePoint to have read logs for, for something. But here you can just check that off. So I'll definitely explore that in a future video. But that's it. That's what I wanted to show you in this short video. I wanted to show you how to get a prefix on my table by enabling the publisher prefix. And I also wanted to enable the auditing settings. So that's it for this demo. Thank you for watching.